Hey, first grade, it's Miss Finney, and it's also time for math. You guessed it. All right, friends, if you are in Miss Kelly's class or in Miss Finney's first grade English math classes, you're in the right spot. We're going to get into some of our materials that you guys will all need for today. The materials that you all will need for today is a piece of paper, a pencil, and of course, that brain so we can continue growing that brain. If you need to pause the video at this time so that you can get those materials, please go ahead and pause now. Great, I'm glad you all have your materials and you're ready to go. For your application problem for today, please make sure just like yesterday, you have a nice math picture with labels, you have a number sentence with labels, and you also complete the statement at the bottom. Miss Kelly and I will be looking and checking to make sure you all have labels on that work that we all will be able to see. All right, friends, let's get started with our application problem for today. Get those listening ears on. <laughs> Brittany and Oscar were building a tower of blocks. Oscar used seven red blocks and Brittany used nine blue blocks. How many blocks are in their tower? I'm going to read that one more time, first grade. Brittany and Oscar were building a tower of blocks. Oscar used seven red blocks, and Brittany used nine blue blocks. How many blocks are in their tower? There are, hmm, blocks in their tower. All right, first graders, get those pencils up. Go ahead and start to work. Now is a great time. Pause the video. When you're finished, hit play so that you can check your work. Good luck. Ooh, I see a couple friends have labels on that work. I see a nice number sentence to match that picture. Keep working hard, first grade. Great job doing your application problems, friends. If you are not finished solving that problem, Hit that pause button because you're not done yet and make sure that you finish your problem before you see how Miss Finney will solve. I'm going to give you a couple seconds. Hit that pause button if you're not done. If you're finished, we're going to start to solve our problem. So, friends, we know that our problem was all about our two good old friends in Miss Finney's class, Oscar and Brittany. Now, Oscar and Brittany, they were building something. They were building a chicken nugget cake, right? No, they weren't doing that. Oscar and Brittany were building a tower. Someone had red blocks and someone had some blue blocks. I know that in Oscar's tower, he had not seven red blocks. I know that in Brittany's tower, she had nine blue blocks. In our problem, we're trying to figure out how many blocks are in their tower together. That tells me that we don't know how many blocks that we have all together. So our whole, we don't know that. Do we know how many blocks that Oscar has? Yeah. Mm, what color are Oscar's blocks? Red, you're so right. Oscar has seven R red blocks. I put an R to stand for red. You also could have put an O to stand for Oscar because those are his blocks. Now, we need to think about Brittany and how many blocks that Brittany had. Brittany had nine blue blocks. I put nine blocks here. I put a B to stand for blue blocks. You also could have put a B to stand for Brittany. Do we know how many blocks they had in their tower? No, we don't. I'm going to label this a T to stand for how many blocks they had in their tower all together. Now, in order to figure out that missing piece, because I love them so much, I'm gonna be using a tape diagram. Well, I know that Oscar had seven red blocks. Can you all count seven red blocks with me? Thanks, let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is the amount of blocks that Oscar had. He had seven blocks, and we know that those seven blocks were red. So I'm going to label R for red. Do we know how many blocks Brittany had? 
Yeah. Brittany had nine blue blocks. Can you guys count those with me too? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We know that Brittany had nine blue blocks. Remember, I'm putting my number and I'm also labeling what it is. When we put these two together, we'll be able to figure out how many blocks Brittany and Oscar had in their tower. Now, we can count these one by one, or what I like to do is I like to take my biggest number and count on. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I know that Oscar and Brittany had 16 blocks in their tower. In my number bond, I can also write that 16 in that missing space. Now, all amazing first graders make sure that they have a nice labeled math picture, but we also need to make sure that we have a number sentence. I know that Oscar had seven red blocks, and Brittany had nine blue blocks. When you put those together, they had 16 blocks in their tower. Notice Miss Finney added my labels. I also put a mystery box around that number that I did not know. That number I didn't know was the amount of blocks that were in Oscar and Brittany's tower. The very last thing I need to do is complete my statement. My statement answers my question in our story. They had 16 blocks. I know that they had 16 blocks in their to uh, tower. This is how Miss Finney completed her problem. If right now you need to pause so that you can go and check your work, now would be a great time to pause the video so that you can check your work with Miss Finney's. If your work matches mine, high five, you did an amazing job. If your work doesn't match mine, that's okay because we're just doing some practice. All right, friends, this is a great time to pause the video, check your work, and press play when you're ready to go. Great job completing your application problem today, friends. Today, we're gonna get right into our learning for today. So today, you guys are gonna be able to identify 10 more, 10 less, one more, and one less by using quick tense or the arrow way. You guys have had a lot of practice with quick tense, the arrow way, 10 more, 10 less, one more, and one less in calendar math. So today should be a breeze for you all because you've gotten a lot of practice with this already. All right, first grade, now we're gonna get started into our first problem for today. For today, I'm gonna start off by showing you my number of the day. My number for today is the number. Give me a drum roll, give me a drum roll, I know you're ready. My number of the day today is the number 62. My number of the day is 62. The very first thing I'm gonna start off by doing is drawing some quick tents. Are you guys ready for these quick tents? All right, I'm gonna go pretty fast. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62. Can you all count my quick tens with me just to make sure I have 62? All right, first grade, let's count it up together. Are you guys ready? All right, let's count together. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62. <gasps> Ooh, does anyone know, I wonder, I'm going to draw this place value chart up here. In my place value chart, I have tens and I also have my ones. Ooh, now that I have my tens and my ones in my place value chart, I'm going to go back to that number of the day. I know that there's six tens in the number 62. 
So I'm going to write that in my place value chart. How many ones are in 62? Ah, there's two ones in 62. So I'm going to write that in my place value chart as well. Hmm. If I wanted one more than 62, I could use my arrow way to show one more. I have my number of the day, which is 62, and I want to know one more. So I draw an arrow and show one more or plus one. 62 plus 1, or 62, and 1 more than 62, is the number 63. I know that 1 more than the number 62 is 63. I want you to take a look at both of my numbers that are in my place value charts. I have the number 62. And I also have the number 63. I want you to take a very close look. And I want you to look at the numbers in the tens place. And I also want you to look at the numbers in the ones place. Hmm. Think to yourself, what changed? What stayed the same? Hmm. <gasps> Did you just say, <gasps> you're so right i heard you say that oh my gosh you're amazing i just heard you say that the number in the tens place stayed the same and you're a hundred percent right i also heard you say that the number in the ones place changed the reason why the number in the ones place changed was because we added another one we didn't add another 10, we added another one. And because we added another one, our one's place changed. How cool is that? I know, it's pretty cool. Now, I want you to think about our number of the day. What was our number of the day? 62, you got it. Now I want you to think about that number of the day. We have our quick tens here which show 62. I wonder, how could we show 10 more? Hmm. Did you just, oh, you're so right. We can show 10 more by drawing another quick 10. We can also show 10 more by using the arrow way. You guys are so amazing. Go ahead and kiss your brains. Throw it up and let it rain. You guys are so amazing. Well, I'm going to do what you guys were saying. You all told me that I could add another quick 10. So that's what I'm going to do to find 10 more than 62. Whoa, we have another 10. You all see how Miss Finney just added another 10? Let's count up to see what 10 more than 62 is. Let's count together. Ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 72. What's 10 more than 62? 72. You nailed it. Let's go back. So we just use our quick 10s. We added another 10, another quick 10. Now, we could have added 10 circles, but that would have taken a longer time. We know that 10 is our best friends, and we can just add a quick 10 quickly. Now, you all told me that I could use quick 10s to show 10 more, and you also told me I could use the arrow way to also show 10 more. So, that's what I'm going to do now. Our number of the day was 62. So I'm going to start out my place value chart by writing the number 62. We wanted to know what 10 more than 62 was. That's why we write plus 10. 
This is a part you have to make sure you include or we won't know what you want to know in the middle. So right now we want to know 10 more than 62. <gasps> well, we already used our quick tens and we know that 10 more than 62 is 72. You got it. So we're going to write that 72 in our place value chart. Now, this is pretty amazing. We've been able to show 10 more than a number. We've been able to show one more than a number. And this is really, really helping us grow our brains to be able to add some numbers in our head. In just a moment, friends, you all are going to get to try one on your own. Do you guys think that you're ready? You guys are ready? Okay. You guys, I'm going to give you a number of the day. And I'm going to have you guys tell me 10 more than this number of the day. Are you ready for your number of the day? For your number of the day, I want to see that you use quick tens. And I want to see that you use the arrow way. Go ahead and set your paper up just like Miss Finney. All right. Your number of the day is going to be the number. Seventy seven. I want to know what's 10 more than 77. Now, friends, is a great time to pause the video. When you're all finished, hit that play button to see if your work matches with mine. All right, friends, good luck. Go ahead and get started. You're back and you worked super, super hard. You used that 77 as our number of the day. And you guys were telling me what 10 more than 77 is using quick tens and your arrow way. If you're not finished, hit that pause button because I want to know that you finished before you guys see the answer. All right. If you are continuing to watch, I know that means you are finished. So go ahead and track me so I can show you how I would have solved this problem. All right, friends, we're going to get right into our problem. We have our number of the day, which is 77. I'm going to start by writing my number of the day, 77, in my place value chart. Now, I know Miss Finney asked, what's 10 more than our number of the day? So, because I want to know 10 more, on my arrow, I'm going to write plus 10, which means 10 more. Ooh. 10 more than 77 is, hmm. If I don't know that right away, I can use my quick tens to help me. Let's start off by drawing our 77 for our quick tens. Can you guys help me count my quick tens, 77? All right, let's count. How many tens are in 77? Seven, you're so right. Let's count. One ten, two tens, three tens, Four tens, five tens, six tens, seven tens. How many ones are in 77? Seven. You're so right. Let's count those together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have 77. Let's count it all up to make sure that that is 77. 10, 20, 30. 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77. Does our quick tens match our number of the day? Yeah. All right. Now, we wanted to know 10 more than 77. So what could we do to figure out 10 more? Did you just say add another quick 10? You're so right. Let's add another quick 10. Miss Finney just added another quick 10, and now we'll know what 10 more than 77 is. Let's count it up to see what 10 more than 77 is. Count with me. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87. 
What's 10 more than 77? Did you just say 87? You're so right. We know that 10 more than 77 is 87. Wow, that was a lot of hard work. But you know, Miss Finney, I love a good challenge. Today I said we were going to talk about 10 more, 10 less, 1 more, and 1 less. Hmm. I have a challenge. Did you just say bring it on? Well, my challenge for you right now is I want to know what 1 less than 77 is. I want to know what's 1 less than 77. <gasps> Right now, pick that pencil up. I want to see quick tens to show one less than 77. I want to see the arrow way to show one less than 77. Do you think you can do it? Oh, I know you can. All right, friends, go ahead and pause the video. When you're finished, hit that play button to check your work with mine. All right. Hey, first grade. Did you finish your challenge? If you finished your challenge, keep on watching. If you didn't, hit that pause button. Finish up your work, then hit that play button. We know that we wanted to figure out one less than 77. Our number of the day was 77. We can start out by drawing 77 for our quick tens. You all already did that, so I'm gonna do that a little faster. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77. I have my quick tens, 77. Let's count it up one more time just to make sure we have our 77. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77. Now, our number of the day was 77, and I wanted to know one less. If I want to know one less, will I put plus one? No, because we're not adding one. We want to know one less. If we're using one less, our number is getting smaller, and we are taking one away. So if we're taking one away, we will be using not addition, but subtraction. We're taking one away. So we're gonna say minus one. If I take one away in my quick tens drawing, I can cross that off. I can count this up to see what one less than 77 is. Let's count it together. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76. We know that one less than 77 is 76. While you all are working today, I want you to notice what changes and what stays the same in your tens place and your ones place. While you all are doing your work today, I want you, again, pay real close attention. What changes and what stays the same? Really be thinking about why do you think that happens? Now, you guys have done lots of practice with 10 more, 10 less, one more, and one less. Are you all ready to get started into some practice of your own? All right. For your practice on your own today, this is where you're going to take out your piece of paper. On your piece of paper, you're going to pick a couple problems that you have up on the board right up here. And once you're finished with any problem that you would like to complete, once you've done your morning work, your reading, and your math, take a picture of all of your work. And then at the end of the day, you can send your work to your homeroom teacher. So either Miss Kelly or Miss Finney. You all did such an amazing job today, working with 10 more, 10 less. Again, while you're working today, I really want you paying attention to what changes. Does the tens place change? Does the ones place change? 
Why do you think that happens? You guys did such an amazing job. I'm gonna leave that screen up. You guys can pause it, get some work done, and then send it to your teacher with all of your work at the end of the day. You guys did such an amazing job. I miss you all so much. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.